Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 59 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on today. So yay, I made it today, 59. Um, <laughs> today, I, I don't really know what to say about today. Today was a crappy day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was just a crappy mood. I don't know. Um, I I didn't sleep last night, not for lack of trying and not for lack of being tired. I just kept tossing and turning and for some dumb reason could not fall asleep. And at some point I just gave up and just kind of vegged out in front of my TV because I was too tired to do anything else until I finally fell asleep sometime this morning or this afternoon. <laughs> So it was just, and then of course I didn't sleep well because my couch isn't as comfortable as my bed. And then I migrated to my bed and did the whole tossing and turning and not sleeping thing again. So that I'm just kind of like, okay, today is a wash. I am doing nothing today. Um, but I did get a piano moved into my room, which is exciting. Um, except the leg is kind of broke when it got moved in. So I need to figure out how to fix that or stabilize that or something because I don't know what that does. But anyway decided to have a piano. I haven't really tried it out because, again, just tired not to wanting to do anything today. <laughs> really haven't done things today. I I think I read my meditationals. I haven't got around to my scriptures or my journaling or I think I just am like, I am still in sleep mode. Like I'm going to go to bed from last night and still get a good night's sleep, which obviously isn't happening. So, <laughs> or just deciding I'm not going to wake up for the day, which is silly. But um, I, I did hard boil some eggs tonight, made me a nice little egg salad sandwich, and I had some leftover spaghetti. So at least I ate food today. I drank water today. Um, and I'm still just extremely tired. I'm pretty sure the only reason I'm still awake right now is because I need to do my video. And I'm trying to find a positive spin on my day. <laughs> and I... I don't have one. <laughs> I just, it's just one of those days. I think everybody just has one of those days where it's just not what you want it to be. And I just don't have the energy to do the things that I was hoping to be able to do. I wasn't able to sleep even though I'm tired and which is just frustrating to me. I get very frustrated with myself because I'm like, why am I not letting myself sleep? I'm so tired. So tired my eyes hurt. I'm so tired I can't keep my eyes open and I can't turn my brain off to go to sleep. I can't find a comfortable position. I can't whatever. So um, today was not as positive as I would like it to be. I didn't, because I didn't get a whole lot of anything accomplished <laughs> and if it weren't for, you know, the guys coming to move the piano into my house, I probably would have have gotten up when I did. Um, but I have a piano, so yay for a piano. Um, and I am still alive, so yay, I'm still alive, and I'm still doing my videos, so yay. Good things. There are good things in my life. It's just remembering to focus on the good things and uh, just accepting that I get to be tired today, which meant I was just it just put me in one of those moods where I'm like, I just don't want to do anything today. Like, I just don't even care today. And I don't like having days or moods, I guess, where I just don't care. And today was that I just don't care if I do anything today. So it's not that it was a bad day. It was a just I don't care today. Like, nothing matters today because I'm just so tired and just so frustrated because I can't do whatever I want to do. So I'm just not going to do anything. One of those I just give up today. <laughs> Um, but it doesn't mean that I'm giving up on life or that I'm giving up on progressing. It just, you know, I think everybody has a day where you have a little setback, you have a little rough patch, a little whatever, depression, all negative stuff sinking in or just, you know, things just don't go the way you want them to. And it's just, it's, you know, hard to stay positive and focused when that's happening. And today is just, I mean, really since I've been doing these videos on today, I have been sick and struggling to do anything that I wanted to do. and just been so happy for the little things that I've done and for the positive attitude that I've managed to maintain this entire time. So to just decide that I'm just not going to care if I did anything today is, um, it's not the worst thing in the world, especially since I know it's just for today. And it's just because I didn't get sleep. And I know that I was just even more tired today. And I, I did all that stuff yesterday that just 
totally wore me out. And then to not be able to sleep, even though I was completely worn out, is just um, frustrating, exhausting. <laughs> And so um, not a whole lot I can do about that. I can't control the fact that my body won't let me sleep. It doesn't make any sense to me because I'm like, seriously, if I'm not tired and I have no energy, why can I not just, you know, it feels like you're just going to, head's going to hit the pillow and you're going to be out cold. Not at all. I have no idea why my body does that. I have no idea why I have days or nights where I, I just, I can't sleep, can't focus, can't whatever it is. So, um, and then of course, when I'm not tired, it makes it very difficult for me to focus or want to do anything or to be motivated to do anything. So motivate, motivated to do anything. Can't even talk. <laughs> so I feel like I kind of got a, a little bit of a nap in at some point today, but like I said, I fell asleep on my couch and not the most comfortable position. And then tried to go back to sleep on my bed and I may have dozed for a little bit in my bed. Um, Maybe an hour or two. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. And I haven't even gone back to bed because uh, I know I'm tired, but I also think that I just don't want to spend another night tossing and turning and worried that I won't fall asleep for whatever reason. And then, of course, always staying up hoping that I will actually do stuff like finish reading my scriptures and writing in my journal or something else more productive today. <laughs> and you know what? It just it's not going to happen today. And I, I pretty much knew that it wasn't going to happen today. Um, so I feel like today was just kind of a wash. <laughs> it just, it's just one of those, but I think everybody has to have those days. There's just always that day somewhere in the month or the year or whatever. And sometimes I feel like I have way too many of those days. I don't think I'm having as many of those days or I'm not feeling like they're as much like that as they have been, um, but I am just having one of those days where it's just, you know, it's a wash, it's a day off because I just can't focus to do anything else. And it's just okay because <laughs> there's, I can't do anything else. I can't change it. I, so I just, you know, I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I just don't care today. So <laughs> I apologize. I don't have a whole lot of something that I've learned. I don't have a whole lot of positive little things that I, I did today. Um, and I, and maybe I shouldn't be apologizing. That's just how my day went today. I'm trying to just be honest and this is where I'm at and this is what I'm doing. And, um, and today just my attitude wasn't as positive as other days. And I'm just way more tired today. Um, cause I guess I did too much yesterday or maybe not enough. I, I don't know. I don't understand my body. I don't understand <laughs> what it's doing. I, it's just, it's frustrating because I would love to just, you know, be in control and whatever I think is going to happen. And as many times as I give up control and say, okay, I'm trusting and I'm letting go and everything's okay. I think every time I get to that point, I freak out and then I try to take control back again. And I think maybe today is one of those days where I'm just trying to get control again. So I'm freaking out because I'm letting go and I'm making all these changes and I can see all these changes and there are all these positive things that I've wanted and I've worked so hard to get to. And I just have not gotten to the point where I'm comfortable with them yet. Um, because change is, change is different. It's, and it's not a bad thing. It's not like I'm uncomfortable because it's something bad or wrong that's going on in my life. It's just because it's, it's new. It's, it's different. It's still, um, it's kind of exciting, but it's still kind of foreign to me. And it's just kind of like settling in to something new, something better. And I'm still in the process of settling in. And I still have those days where I'm like, okay, I'm trusting and I'm doing and everything's okay. And then it's like, okay, things are not working out the way that I thought they were going to. And so then I start freaking out and I want that control back. I want to, and it really is the illusion of control because it's not like I had any control before <laughs> over getting myself to do things what I wanted or getting my body to do what I wanted it to. Um, I'm just more aware of that. And I've been better at letting go of trying to be in control and, um, I don't know that I tried to control a whole lot today, but I just wasn't very thrilled with how <laughs> I did, with my inability to do things and being so tired. It was just kind of like, ah, today's a dead day. 
<laughs> it is. I wish that I had more control. I wish that I could be, you know, happier. I could do all these other things. And so it's just one of those things where I'm like, okay, I'm not in control. I don't get to do what I want today. So I'm just not going to do anything today. <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, I, it's not the best attitude to have, but I, I know that that's my little rebellious in me. And that's what I was today, just a little bit frustrated and rebellious and just been like, you know, fine. If I can't do what I want to do, I'm just not going to do anything. Not that I had the energy to do anything in the first place anyway, but <laughs> it's all about the attitude. It's all about my perspective on it because I've had days where I couldn't do a whole lot and instead I've just focused on the little things and been excited and grateful for the little things I did and today I was like, yeah, little things don't mean anything today. <laughs> they do and they they did. It's just, um, it was just harder today because I was just tired and frustrated that my day wasn't going according to plan and the only thing they did was getting the piano but then of course the leg got broken. Um, I think it was already cracked or something because it was duct taped and then um, the guys that were moving it weren't paying attention to that when they moved it in and so it just yeah anyway so not fun I'm gonna have to just figure out how to stabilize that but at least the piano is moved and it still plays and it's beautiful and I have a piano so and it's free it didn't cost me anything so I should just be extremely grateful that I have something to play tickle the ivories so to speak um, not that I play well <laughs> I, I don't but that I can play around on that maybe I can learn to be a little bit better on. Um, just have a little bit of fun with. So it'd be nice to have that. So I'm grateful and excited to have that. So whenever I feel like just playing something, I can just sit down and play something. I don't have to be like, oh, I don't have it. Or I have to get out a little keyboard that my feel like my fingers don't fit on. I don't know how people do that on the keyboards because they're just they're all so tiny. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm just... Um, I'm grateful for that and I just, you know, lost track or side of that um, in my day. I was just focusing on all the things that weren't working out. So um, old default settings, they kick in and I just, you know, when I get really, I think when I get really tired or when things just don't work out, it's really hard to fight those off to remember that I can, um, change my perspective, change my attitude. I may not be able to change how I feel. I may not be able to change how the day goes, but I can change how I respond to it. And today I just chose not to respond. I was just like, I don't care. So um, that's kind of how I feel about today. Um, but at least I'm doing my video. Um, and hopefully tomorrow will be better. Hopefully I can actually get some sleep tonight. Uh, and we'll see. Um, but... And I know at one point today I was wondering if there's something else I'm supposed to be learning that I'm not learning and maybe that's why this is dragging on forever. But I know I've been learning a lot and making a lot of changes. So, um, And sometimes just doing a lot of spiritual things can be just as exhausting as doing physical things. So there's just a lot spiritually going on, emotionally going on, because physically I can't do a whole lot. So I'm having to find ways to um, be happy, to see, change my perspective, to find the positive, to be motivated, to keep going forward and to not let myself sink into a state of depression. And um, I can't say that I've sunk into a state of depression over today, but today may have been a little bit more depressing than other days. Um, but I know I'm entitled, not entitled, I'm allowed to have days like that. I'm human, I'm not perfect. And I know I struggle with depression. It's not something that's just going to magically go away just because I'm changing my attitude and my perspective on things. Um, it hopefully means it doesn't have as strong a hold over me and it's not going to keep me down for as long, but um, I'm still going to have those days. And hopefully they become further and further apart, but I don't know. I feel like I've been having a lot of those uh, right now and I just keep waiting for them to just go away. So, anyway, oh, ooh, might be time for me to go to bed. And that's, <laughs> that's all I have today. So, um, if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like them too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe do some writing.